Well, there have been concerns that have been raised about lots of people who are dying as a result of Okada in this country. The government, through the Coastal Development Authority, is on a mission to provide brand new vehicles for commercial motorcycle riders, popularly referred to as Okada. Uh, the, this Koda Drive intervention was an NPP campaign promise, if you recall, in the lead up to the 2020 general elections. In the following report, Lord Eduasari takes a look at the feasibility of this initiative. Statistics from the Motor Traffic and Transport Department of the Ghana Police Service indicate that 2,126 lives have been lost through road accidents between January and September this year. Within the period, 11,659 persons were injured in accidents involving 20,225 vehicles. Motorcycles alone were responsible for 814 deaths and causing injury to 3,197 persons. The Koda Drive has been introduced to enable Okada riders own vehicles as part of government's effort to reduce the road carnage involving motorcycles. Having had the opportunity of being uh, an acting board chair of Kolibu, I got to know of the number of uh, fatal accidents that come in daily as a result of Okada business. We have our main targets who are the Okada riders, okay. bringing their motorcycles, same is valued, and whatever amount it is, is deducted from how much we are giving out these vehicles for. But there are concerns the influx of cars will increase the traffic situation. See the way we plenty with the car drivers. So everybody will get a car. It's the same traffic will come down. You see the station is that most of the time the drivers, if the car spoil like this, a fitter day here right now. We have fitters inside here. If it come, you just move the team now and say, okay, make it make fast and go and bring the team so that you fix. And then the driver will work. If it be car, how many minutes from here to Abusoka we can wait the fitter is waiting the team? Why can we park the motor and use car? Why that the same car will give traffic like the way the taxi is giving traffic? So like, let's use the Alboto and they should do what they want we to do. Then we will pay that amount, then we will use the motor. The chief executive officer of the Coastal Development Authority, Jerry Ahmed Shaib, says government is working to address it. He noted that motorbikes, which will be surrounded by the riders, will be sent to the hinterlands, which have transportation challenges. You can imagine the kind of impact we are going to make by sending some of these motorcycles to this interland. There are two things that a farmer will use it for, for farming purposes and for personal activities. And that is a better option than just getting cars to be here, getting motor riders to be all over the place, arm robberies on the high, all the incidents are on the high. No. The initiative is said to be piloted with 100 vehicles in the coastal zones before scaling it up nationwide. Okay, so I've had my test drive. The car or the quadricycle has an air conditioner in there. It's a three-seater plus the driver makes it four. Uh, it's quite spacious. I don't know whether it's because of my size, but uh, I guess tall people also have their field day when they are driving it. By and large, it's, it's, a, it's a cool ride, I must say. Fuel consumption, I understand, is very good. It's below the 1.0. It's 